Saturday's early kickoff sees Harry Redknapp face his old club Tottenham Hotspur as they make the short trip across London to face Queen's Park Rangers. Redknapp's current side are bottom of the table, but will look to build on their shot 1-0 victory at Stamford Bridge. Former Chelsea player Sean Wright Phillips' goal earned the Hoops just their second win of the campaign and their first away from Loftus Road in 24 league attempts. Tottenham are one of the form teams in the Premier League under Redknapp's successor Andre Villas-Boas, having picked up maximum points in each of their last three outings. We take it uh, very, very seriously uh, this weekend if we want to, uh, to continue our progress in some way. Um, we have to go to, to QPR and, and win uh, before we receive uh, Man United. Uh, so we, we just want to keep on the, on the run of form that, that we are on. A convincing 3-1 victory over Reading saw Spurs leapfrog Chelsea into third and tighten their grip on a Champions League place. Two teams just outside the relegation zone meet in the Midlands as Aston Villa host Southampton. The home side have lost three of their last four in the league whilst conceding 17 in the process. They also went down 3-1 to League Two side Bradford City in the Capital One Cup in midweek. Southampton, like Villa, haven't won any of their last four, but they'll be looking to build on a point gained against Arsenal. That was their third draw in a row. Striker Ricky Lambert has two goals in his last three games and will once again be the main threat for the visitors. Boss Nigel Atkins could partner him with Gaston Ramirez, who's starting to pay back some of the £12 million spent on him in the summer. Stoke City's unbeaten home record faces a stern examination as Chelsea come to the Britannia Stadium. Tony Pulis's men will be looking to bounce back after defeat at Manchester City. That ended a 10-game unbeaten run in the league. The Potters were poor at the back at the Etihad, but have the best defensive home record in the league. They've yet to lose at the Britannia and have conceded just seven times. Chelsea missed the chance to reclaim third spot after that shock defeat against QPR. That ended a run of four straight wins in the league and saw them lose further grounds in the title race. After the midweek cup defeat to Swansea, it seems a top four finish is the most realistic target for Rafa Benitez. After netting on his debut in the FA Cup, Demba Ba will hope to start his first Premier League game for the club. He's already got 13 goals in the competition this season for Newcastle. Ross Turnbull is again likely to start in goal with Petr Cech still out with a groin problem, whilst John Terry isn't yet ready to return from his knee injury. Everton currently sit just two points outside the top four and will be hoping to keep up their good form, having won three of their last four matches. Swansea sit in a comfortable ninth place, but have drawn three of their last four, including gaining a creditable point against Manchester United. They'll be hoping Michu can continue his goal-scoring form. His latest came in the 2-0 win over Chelsea in the Capital One Cup on Wednesday. <music> Elsewhere, Fulham host Wigan, Newcastle travel to Norwich, Reading take on West Bromwich Albion and Sunderland face Sam Allardyce's West Ham United. <music>